Always in the shadows and with their own agenda, Spy Stories has always put their main character through the most dangerous of challenges. From the 30s up to the futuristic dystopia, from personal to political reasons, in the midst of war or moving quietly from secret to objective. The perfect blend between action, drama and suspense makes this style of stories a great fit into the anime world. And of course, in this video, we are going to tell you guys about the list of such top 10 spy animes to watch. So, without any further ado, let's start with our video. On the 10th number, the anime is Alison to Lilia. The tale of Alison and Lilia is interesting because it is split into two separate stories. The first major focus of the story is on the titular character Alison and her childhood friend Will. Their adventure soon begins when they journey to discover something that could end the war between nations. Even though the meaning behind this World War II like war was incredibly stupid, at least it gave the meaning to the pair's journey. The second part of the series does same but focuses on the other titular character called as Lilia. The setting may be a refreshing change from the generic Japanese high school but the characters that populate it are still distinctly Japanese in their behavior and culture. The result is like an antique western adventure characterized by familiar anime tone. The romantic aspect of the series plays out very predictably and bashfully and the female characters are spiced up with some bouncy more feature to their personalities. Even though the overall story is quite slow paced and has its shortcomings, Alison and Lilia still remains an entertaining watch. I feel this series truly could have been great if they had developed Lilia's story arc a little more. But as it stands now though, it is still a fun little adventure despite it all. On the ninth number, the anime is Heavy Object. Heavy Object takes place in a distant future where the world has stopped using typical ways to fight wars. The weapons of choice in all combat are called as objects. Objects are machines of destruction that cannot be destroyed by military weaponry. Humans who go up against objects are seen as suicide missions. That's exactly what Javier and Quinter are forced to do. Quentin is a student who wishes to be the designer of objects and Javier, a rich noble who just happens to be in the service. They are put up to the test and the story is filled with a handful of turnarounds, problems that these young women and men faces. The biggest factor that made me give this story 9 out of 10 is the reference to modern day problems. I noticed the resemblance of objects to nuclear bombs nowadays. The nations who have them are considered the most powerful and dragging them into the war poses a threat of them using said bombs. In that case, objects are like these bombs. The more you have them, the more powerful you are and hypothetically you cannot do anything to stop them. That mixed with some amazing action and plot progression, Heavy Object Anime snatches the 9th place on this list of top 10 animes about spies. On the 8th number, the anime name is Full Metal Panic. Full Metal Panic is a story about Kaname Chidori who is one of the Whispered, but who lives as a normal schoolgirl, unknowing of her own powers. The Whispers have special abilities that allows them to interact with machines and possess enormous amount of knowledge on various things. They can design extremely complex machinery with their knowledge. Now some evil organizations are after Whispers to gain access to their knowledge for the development of their weapons. Sagara Sosuke is a spy agent who is given the mission to protect Chidori along with his comrade Melissa Mao and Weber Cruz. Sagara is a military expert and extremely proficient at his trade. He works under the command of Mithril, a high-tech mercenary organization. The, mi the mission seems simple, but for Sagara who is foreign to normal school life, things can get pretty dirty. Chidori thinks Sagara is stalking him whereas he thinks that he is protecting her. Expect a lot of humor, edginess and fan hats. As you see, the story is quite complex and lively and it ends beautifully. Not only that but there are two sequels afterwards and three OVAs if you want more of Full Metal Panic afterwards. On the 7th number, the anime name is Night Raid 1931. It was a genuinely surprising and refreshing to see an anime actually be somewhat realistic portraying the Japan back in those days. Showing the dangers of their ideologies and giving a fairly accurate depiction of the Manchurian incident, despite the fantastical elements added to spice up the story. The story follows a squad of four spies, their willy leader and his lanky assistant. Aside from old man leader, they have all superpowers. The hot-blooded main guy has telekinesis which he reveals in spamming. 
His associate is cool-headed teleporter who dislikes his power. Their girlfriend is a crying telepath and her bodyguard got eagle eyes. The aforementioned lanky, silent dude who is in the background of each episode can erase people's minds. Together they form an interesting team with some good dynamics. The anime treats us with some of the enjoyable action scenes and plenty of intrigue in between them. Early on, we see the team efficiently working together tackling the missions they have given until they realize there's more than meet the eyes behind whatever their opponent is planning, which is often the case with the missions that they are given. And hence, Night Raid 1931 follows a story of amazing group of spies with supernatural powers and their missions. On the 8th number, the anime name is Golgo 13. In this anime, each episode is non-sequential and has no bearing on future or previous episodes, so you can essentially watch the episodes in no particular order and have more or less the same enjoyment. Each episode begins with Duke Togo, as known as Golgo 13, receiving a request to kill a target, and the rest of the episode usually involves Golgo 13 undertaking some masterful feat to accomplish his goals. There is no story overall other than the following Golgo 13's exploits. However, each individual story is fairly unique in regard to how it is presented its supporting characters backdrops and storylines are amazing to conclude anime series with no plot tend to lose their appeal very quickly however golgo 13 is quite enjoyable it just has something in it that makes you look forward to togo's next assignment and keeps you wondering just how he is going to demonstrate his prowess when his enemies underestimated him or make wrong deductions If you are a fan of super manliness anime, protagonist having nearly inhuman skills and an old school feel wrapping it all up, this is the one that you should definitely watch. On the 5th number, the anime is Higashino Eden. Basically, the story begins after previous major events that are revealed over time. With only 11 episodes, the show pulls off a rather amazing feat. Not once did the story ever feel rushed and not once did it feel like there was too much information packed into too small of a package. Starting off with amnesiac hero vibe that gave the Born Identity series its teeth and plot hook. Things unfold at rapid pace, wasting no time diving into conspiracies of careless Monday. And the overlying game of Silegao as the 12 competing individuals employ their own methods to save Japan. Much of the meat of the story is presented quite well, explaining things at a level that gives you what you need to understand at that time and nothing more. Yet still leaving enough dangling that you're actually anxious to watch the next episode. Just waiting to see where the next puzzle piece fits. Overall, I thought this was a solid anime with many good points going for it. It's a nice short anime to get into it as it really grabs your attention early on. Although the fact that it is followed by two movies afterwards seems a little strange. On the fourth number, the anime name is Darker Than Black. Darker Than Black. What an adventure it has been. Darker Than Black takes place in the near future world where two gates appeared, Heaven's Gate and Hell's Gate. The mysterious appearance of these gates brought with them the contractors. Contractors are people who have entered into a contract with an unknown force and gain a unique power in return. The nature of the contract however requires them to give back each time they use their power. Payment is anything from smoking a cigarette or writing a poem. The main story is told through an omnipotent point of view with the cameraman being at the scene and generally following a certain group of characters but can focus on other characters as the protagonist for entire arc. It is a very unique way to tell a story and hard to put into words and that isn't a bad thing. The series seems episodic as the story is generally told in two episodes mini arc with the final arc being three episodes. It never really feels very episodic though especially towards the end where the main plot runs into each new arc. Although there is a sense of conclusion after each arc and it never really feels like it is of an episodic nature. And hence I immensely enjoyed Darker Than Black and it has a very satisfying conclusion too. And hence you should definitely watch Darker Than Black. On the third number the anime is Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell is one of the reasons anime became so popular in America and Europe because it shows how anime is supposed to be. The story focuses around Section 9, an anti-terror organization of the government trying to catch a brilliant hacker named the Puppet Master. So at first 
it shows you some detective work finding out more about the main villain and later on you will get an ordinary package of combat and big conclusion it is made very solidly and they have also used too many details to make the story pretty complex when you don't follow what everyone is saying exactly you will soon get lost in the story even though this anime is only 1.5 hours long and within this time it is filled with action and philosophy as well the story itself isn't even the main aspect of the show i think the movie wanted to present the audience with the story writer's personal idea of future and give you a bit of his point of view on the philosophy as a bonus this anime succeeds in every aspect so perfectly maybe there have been some similar future stories out there but clearly not in this kind of way so the originality of show is quite high in my opinion this anime deserves to be called best anime ever made on the second number the anime name is joker game the story starts in 1937 in the midst of japan's invasion on china leading up to world war 2 Lieutenant Colonel Yuki has started a special training spy organization known as D Agency. The men who have graduated its rigorous training are regarded as both mavericks and monsters for adhering to tactics that are prevailing military thinking at that time regarded as cowardly or even scareligious. From there, the series spin-offs into an anthology format featuring a different spy each episode with mixed results. The show plays its cards so close to its chest that it sometimes it's not possible to figure out what happens until the danger is over and it's safe to debrief. It makes sense though considering these men are working deep undercover rather than the normal glamorous James Bond sort of agent but it means that many times the viewers can't put the pieces of the story together until the last 5 minutes of the episode when the show reveals what we could not have known before it allows the spies to show their skills and watching them is like seeing a magic trick without knowing how it's done sometimes some things don't make sense until context is given and unlike magic tricks we need context to fully appreciate what happened and joker game is definitely worth watching if you are into spy genre on the first number the anime is spy family Spy Family follows Elite spy agent Twilight as he is given one of the most important assignments of his life, Operation Strix. The mission to get close to reclusive Donovan Desmond, the National Unity Party leader, and prevent him from disrupting the ten years peace between nations of Ostania and Vestalis. To do that, he must somehow create a family out of thin air and enroll his child into a dense academy, where Donovan is rumored to make occasional appearances. Twilight does manages to find a wife and a daughter in less than a week under appropriate but fake name Lloyd Forger. But little does he know that he is not the only one keeping a secret. His wife Yor is an assassin and his daughter Anya is a telepath. Aside from the intriguing setup, one of the strength of the spy family is characters, especially the members of the Forger family. All three of them do their best to act like a regular family which often leads to hilarity as they struggle to balance their double lives. Although the overarching plot is Twilight's mission, what makes Spy Family one of the best and heartwarming series in Shonen Jump now is how this unlikely trio slowly becomes a real family in their own right. And I think that's for today guys that was the video about top 10 anime about spy what are your thoughts about this video which is your favorite anime out of this list let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel because i post daily anime content about top 10 of my listings anime reviews recommendations new series and all sorts of anime content on daily basis so if you enjoyed please subscribe and that was it and i will see you in the next one sayonara